Well, good morning, Spartans. You know, we've been cooped up in our homes for too long now, and most of us are looking for any opportunity we can to get out of the house. So I'm gonna take you on an adventure with my dog Cole here, and we'll end it with a special surprise. On a normal school day, Cole and I leave the house real early, about 4.30 in the morning, it's still dark outside and we go on what I call a prayer walk. I get to spend a little quiet time with the Lord, enjoy his gorgeous creation and get a little bit of exercise at the same time. For those of you Spartans who like to skate, you might be interested to know that there's a little skateboard park here. Unfortunately, they've recently filled it with wood chips to keep kids out, but hopefully everything will be back to normal real soon. So we'll walk through our neighborhood park and then right across the street is Carbon Canyon Regional Park. All right, Jeopardy question for you. Do you know which dog breed is the tallest in the world? If you said Great Dane, you would be correct. Cole is a Great Dane. He's just a little two-year-old guy. There's lots of wild animals around here. Besides just your ordinary ones like these geese. And skunks and squirrels and rabbits and raccoons. There's a lot of coyotes around here. I see them almost every day. And me and Cole go for walks. And I've seen deer a couple times. On Saturdays, when I'm not surfing, and on days like today during spring break, sometimes Cole and I will take an extended walk down one of these trails that people hike on and mountain bike on and stuff, and we'll do some exploring. Apparently spring did not get the memo to shelter indoors. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Wild flowers are blooming, birds are chirping. Okay, now for that special surprise I promised you about. All right, so you know the tallest dog in the world is a Great Dane. Here's your hint. What is the tallest tree in the world? If you said redwood, you would be correct. As we round this bend here, you'll begin to see the tops of those redwoods. And here we are, Spartans. The largest coastal redwood grove in Southern California and it's only about a one mile hike from my house. Did you know these trees can live up to 2,000 years? Well, these guys are just youngsters. They were planted in 1975, so how old does that make them? If you said 45, you'd be correct. Now, these guys are only about 100 feet tall right now, but they can grow over 300 feet tall, so that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. Now these trees are not going to grow as enormous as those redwoods up in Northern California and that's because the climate here in Orange County is quite ideal for them. One other interesting fact is that under the shade of these trees it can be up to 10 degrees cooler than just outside the grove. And it's not just because of the lush shade that these trees provide, but also because of a scientific process known as transpiration. Well, Spartans, 
it's time for us to head home. Thanks for coming on this adventure with us. And I can't wait to see you guys. Until then, count your blessings and make it a great day. What's up Spartans? My name is Mrs. Arati. I'm the band director here at Stauffer. I regret to inform you that I will be your anchor for today. I don't have a lot of experience doing anchoring, and by that I mean I've never done it in my life, but they needed someone to do it. I was the last person on the list. Nobody else could make it, so sorry, you're stuck with me today. Uh, today is May 4, 2020, and the Character Counts quote for the day is a, it's a great one. It was said by our uh, ex-president, John F. Kennedy. He said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. It's a fantastic quote. Um, if I was a skilled anchor, at this point, I would say a really smooth transition to take you to the pledge, but I'm not that creative and I'm not a skilled anchor. So here's mine. Time for the pledge. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I get a terrible feeling that some of you guys skipped the pledge. Shame on you. Uh, once again, this, this time would be for a smooth transition. I don't have one of those. So now we're gonna say the birthdays for today. The birthdays for today are Derek Bojorquez, which is one of my students. Happy birthday, Derek. And Kaylee Saliguero. I don't know her, but happy birthday, Kaylee. And now it's time for the daily news. Greetings Spartans, my name is Mr. Davis. To some of you, I may be a recognizable face, but to many of you, I'm new. I'm really excited to be a part of this and I'm hoping to see all sorts of familiar students. Here's our goal. Some of you might have questions about all the work that you're doing at home and you might need homework help. That's why I'm here. Since I won't be able to spend time with you in a classroom at Stoffer in the days and weeks ahead, Mr. Browning and Mrs. Hanohano have set up this program or opportunity for you to get some extra help with all of your work. Each week, I'll host three sessions for you to drop in on Zoom and ask all of your questions. This means math, science, history, English, PE, all of the above. Here's the weekly schedule and the links. Monday, 10 a.m. Wednesday, 3 p.m. Friday, 1 p.m. The Zoom ID that you will log in with is 307-597-8568. The meeting link is also available in your Google Classrooms and will be posted on Instagram. Stay tuned. Once again, Spartans, my name is Mr. Zarati. Uh, today is uh, May 4th, 2020. It has been a joy to be your anchor. Thank you so much for having me. Not sure uh, why I was using this microphone anyway. Uh, it was never even plugged in. But the Character Counts quote for the day was, Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Please stay safe, Spartans. Let, let your teachers know if you need anything from us. We are here for you. Um, let me know if you're one of my students. Email me if you need anything. Even if you're not one of my students and you need something, email me. I will be glad to help. Peace.